Hi, and welcome to the Word of the Week. This week's word is morality. Now, we've been dealing with this concept of wuda, martial virtue, and particularly martial virtue in action. And morality is one of the parts of this code. And when we think about the definition of morality, it's our belief about right and wrong behavior. Now, in our lives, we develop these concepts of right and wrong through uh, our religious beliefs, philosophy, uh, our laws, our societal laws, um, the groups that we affiliate with, uh, and our families. So all of these things help to shape our beliefs in what is right and wrong behavior. And they give us guidelines for how to live and how to interact. Now, as a martial artist, it's really important uh, to understand that we have some moral obligations. Uh, as a teacher, uh, the part of a long tradition of teachers, um, we look at the character of people because uh, there are a lot of things in martial arts, like so many other things, that can be used for good or for bad purposes. And as a teacher, it is incumbent upon us to make sure that we are not giving the information that could be uh, potentially used for really, really bad things to people who don't have a strong moral character. Uh, so uh, the things that can be used to really hurt, to kill people, um, in the old days, they weren't taught to everybody because the teacher wanted to make sure that that information did not get into the wrong hands. Uh, so uh, even today, that's part of the tradition that we try to carry out. We want to make sure that people develop a strong sense of what is good and right behavior before teaching things that could be used for bad purposes. Um, now, but morality is not just so black and white uh, because by definition it also is the degree to which something is right and good. So if we use the example of, of learning a technique that could hurt someone really bad, um, there are times when that's necessary. I never want to have to hurt anyone, but if the lives of those around me are being threatened, that's a decision that I would have to make and I'm pretty sure that I would make that decision uh, just knowing how much I value uh, the lives of others. Uh, so, you know, is it necessary to hurt someone to prevent others from being hurt? Sometimes that's very true. And it's a hard decision to make, but it's one that goes on every day. So we have to think that, that morality is not just this very narrow boxed in concept of you know what is absolutely right or wrong there are many variables that go along with it and the clearer you understand the grander concept of what you believe to be correct and what drives those things then it helps you to have when you have to make these adjustments when you have to kind of bend the rules a little bit for the greater good and I think that's the key to morality and I, I like to use the word, word moral compass a lot um, ideally all of our moral compasses like a regular compass should be pointing north should be going upwards and up to you may be heaven maybe nirvana it may be uh, enlightenment it may be just simply being the best you can be but I think if we look at our morals as those guides that help us to stay on a path of upward movement in our lives, then uh, I think whether we agree or not on all the details, I think we're all going to be happy with the results. Okay, well I hope you enjoyed this week's lesson and hope to see you next week.